turning results into action. After this video, you will be able to explain what turning insights into action means and connect your results with your business or scientific question. Now that you have evaluated the results from your analysis and generated reports on the potential value of the results, the next step is to determine what action or actions should be taken based on the insights gained. Remember why we started bringing together large data sets to analyze them in the first place. The goal was to find actionable insights to help answer scientific or commercial questions. In business, for example, is there something wrong in your process that should change to remove the bottlenecks? Is there data that should be added to your application to make it more accurate? Or should you so segment your population into more well-defined groups for more effective targeted marketing? Similarly, in science, were the benefits from a drug trial statistically significant? Or what is the present rate of deforestation and can you predict how much forest will remain in 15 years? Just to name another example, you can ask a question like, can you cluster distant planets based on telescope images? Now that you have some insights from the data, the next step is turning that into action. Based on what you found, it is likely now you have actions you could take to improve your business, better treat patients, or improve the environment. Now you need to figure out how to implement the actions. What is necessary to add this action to your process or application? How should it be automated, if it can be? The stakeholders need to be identified and become involved in this change. Just as with any process improvement changes, we need to monitor and measure the impact of the action on the process or application. Be sure to think about what data you should collect during and after the change to properly evaluate its impact. Evaluating results from the implemented action will determine your next steps. Is there additional analysis that needs to be performed in order to yield even better results? What data should be revisited? Are there additional opportunities that should be explored? For example, let's not forget what big data enables us. We could be taking real-time actions based on rapidly streaming information. In business, we need to define what part of our business needs real-time action to be able to influence the operations or the interaction with the customer. In public service, we need to know what actions to take when certain events are observed in the data. Once we define these real-time actions, we need to make sure that there are automated systems or processes in our organization or scientific research group to perform such actions and provide failure recovery in case of problems. As a summary, big data and data science are only useful if the insights can be turned into action and actions could, should be carefully defined and evaluated.